Okay, the goal for this video is um, I would like to discuss what I struggled with when I left the GAWs. What, what did I think that was um, a far out concept or even felt like unworthy because of it? Um, you know, the GAWs they really teach that <clears throat> that you can't that you're not saved that you have to um, be saved by works and not by faith and there's just <clears throat> there's no real scriptural support of that um, <sighs> the only thing they can come up with is uh, the James scripture that faith by works is dead and that's true. <clears throat> However, Romans really talks about how, how you would be justified by your faith. So what does that mean? Um, it means that if you, that you are justified by your faith, your faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's what <clears throat> really the gospel is, that Jesus came and saved you and, was, and died for you and, and was resurrected just like you promised and he paid the ultimate price and you putting faith in him and the resurrection is the whole point now <clears throat> if you do nothing with your faith if you just put it in the corner you don't tell anybody um, and you're just quiet about it it's hey it's your faith is no good it it's, does nothing it's like it's dead it doesn't mean that you're not saved, but Jeremiah talks about how his spirit was a fire in his bones and he wouldn't stop talking about it. Um, so yeah, that's what Christians have been doing for centuries, talking about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, how you can be saved, just like the man on the cross who was right next to Jesus. He died, and he was saved that same day by put, exercising faith in him, in Jehovah's Witnesses' world. That's not possible. You can only you can only be saved if you go through all their hopes, and still you don't know whether or not you're good enough. It's really sad. The other thing I want to talk about is um, something that I struggled with and um, you know really there is only one Hebrews 4 talks about that there's only one faith one hope there is no secondary ones that are going to be on the earth and one's going to be in the heavens two classes of Christians that's not what it says at all it's that's a really far out belief in a really has to do with replacement theory that the people in New York replaced the Israelites. It's crazy. Um, and it's pretty arrogant, actually. Um, so that being said, one thing, another thing that I struggled with is uh, realizing that I was a child of God. And that means that um, I'm royalty. royalty. So, think about it, we're a child of the one true king. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, it's a wonderful thought, but like, often, often the, the programming of JWs teaches you that um, you're unworthy, that you're not good enough. It's sad. Um, but Jesus has an amazing grace. So, please, um, you know, like, comment, and su subscribe, uh, and tell me what you're struggling with. Uh, oh, well, last thing is obviously the family thing. Uh, my family, um, I, ever since I had a, stop going to the Kingdom Hall, our relationships has been strained anyways. 
and um, you know it's it's crazy because you know if you have a conversation with their parents they're they're like well wait for God's kingdom that's gonna fix everything and yes I do it's not a comforting message at all especially because all the lies of the JWs, the, all the false prophet predictions, you know, like, how can I believe in something that, you know, they're full of falsehood. So, what my goal is to bring hope, and I hope you, I brought some hope to you today.